Hello everybody, hope you're well, hope you're fantastic. My name is Gavin Mkabela and I'm the author of this amazing book titled uh, Girls Financial Sermons Ain't Nothing But The Financial Truth. Now this book is all about personal finances, it's about property investing and um, you know about life in general. Now I've poured my heart into this book like it's an amazing and incredible book but that's not what I want to talk about uh, today. Now I want to talk about an event that I was invited to last Last week now this event you know revolved around the power of the vision board so we did the vision board we went through why you need to have a vision board now for those who don't know what the vision board is a vision board is pretty much a board full of pictures that represent what you want to achieve for a certain period now it doesn't have to be a board right it can be a piece of paper it could be even an app you know so we live in a digital world so you can also get apps that you know you can do vision boards with now so this will be for example uh, if you want to buy your mom a house this year or you want to get married or you want to get a promotion at work or you want um, to buy a bigger car whatever that you want to achieve you want to have a six pack like me so what you do is that you then find a picture that will represent exactly that you know and then you can post you can you can plug it uh in the kitchen in your bedroom um an app you can put it on your on your, on your screen saver whatever whatever it takes to make sure that you can see it each and every day now this is powerful because it then stretches your mind right it's a power of visualizing you know when you visualize things you pretty much live them before they okay so that's the idea now the event was an amazing with like it was amazing 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 I truly enjoyed myself so I was one of the speakers there now my presentation revolved around um, how to navigate financially through a storm how to navigate financially through a storm now I know it doesn't make sense now how do you navigate through a storm like how okay so one of the things that I, I, I did was to to take you know the audience through you know some visualizing process so I asked them to really go on go with me on a journey so I'm gonna ask you as well to go with me on this journey as well so now I want you to imagine that there is a boat right so you are in this boat now you are in the boat but you are not in the boat if you know what I mean so for example you I mean you've heard about open relationships right so you are in a relationship but you are not in a relationship because you can go and date other people so that's exactly what I want you to do I want you to be in the boat but you are not in the boat so you can ex you are experiencing all the emotions you know but you are not there but you are there anyway so there's a boat and there is like a rough stormy sea now it's like it's hectic right the current is, is high um it's dark um it's raining there's lightning and it, it's just terrible right and this you are in this boat is going up and down um you know it's almost capsizing like it's, it's, it's just a mess now i want you to picture um that there are three groups of people in this boat so there are three groups of people in this boat so there's group number one there's group number two and there's group number three now i want you now to focus on group number one so group number one shem they are holding on to the boat right uh, a big current hits the boat and they get washed off the boat and they drown so you see them drowning trying to swim and then they drown you don't see them anymore right? so they are gone group number one gone drowned now I want you to, 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 to set your eyes on group number two. So group number two, these guys are holding on to the boat. Like the boat is going up, down, like they are holding on to their life, right? So they are holding on. That is group number two. Now I want you to go to group number three. Now these guys are crazy. Like these guys are crazy. So group number three, you know, with one arm, these guys are holding on to the boat, but with this one hand, they're busy tossing the net and trying to catch fish and whatever that they can catch from the sea. Now that doesn't make sense. Like why would you want, you know, to fish for opportunities in the midst of a storm? Like you, you can die any moment. You should just concentrate on not dying, but uh -uh, you are holding on, but you're busy tossing the net to get more opportunities there. Now that's, that's, that's pretty much where we are. 
right we are in the midst of a storm and i don't know where you are in the world but i'm in south africa and you know our economy has been on icu for for a number of years now and when 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 covid uh, 19 came it really put us even far worse than where we were and it's getting worse because there is the invasion happening uh, between Russia and Ukraine. Food inflation is, 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 gonna, is gonna go off the roof. Uh, already our petrol price has gone up. Our electricity bill is gonna be more expensive from next month. Um, and everything else is going on. It's just, it's just crazy. Our household budgets are just taking a strain. Now that's where we are. That's where we are. Now, I want you to imagine that this boat, going back now to the boat, that is now sailing through, you know, a, a very calm sea. So group number two and number three, remember now they survived. So they are busy dancing in, in the boat. They are happy. Wow, we've made it. We've made it. We are alive. We are alive. You know, so it, it, it's just a party going on in the boat because of that. And I want you to see that it is an unknown island and this boat is now approaching this uh, unknown island and these guys now get off. Now when these guys are now setting up shop in this un un unknown island, the question that I asked was who will be far better off between group number two and group number three? Who will be better off? between group number two and group number three. Now, you can imagine when COVID hit, um, it came to, you know, to, to our shores. And I remember it was the 26th of March when our president called the first uh, lockdown. And I think I was paralyzed after that for, for two weeks. Well, not physically paralyzed but I was just in in a state of shock because every day I used to watch the news every day the whole day I would check what's going on um, it was crazy I think Italy people were dying people all over the world were dying and I, I was scared and more than scared for my life it was more around what am I gonna do you know I, I everything is shut how are we gonna work how are we gonna do business how are we gonna sell stuff like what's gonna happen so it, it was really rough it, it, it was it was hectic and um, but through that it was you know I had a choice I had a choice because if we go back to the groups um, the guys that didn't survive their business closed the people lost jobs um, and there's and people they've never recovered. Um, there are people that will never probably recover. You know that's just how the world is. And at the end of the day, as much as people we can say what, it is a choice, right? It is a choice. It boils down to the choice to say where do you want to stand? You know, um, do you, do you, are you gonna be washed off? You know, and and the the, the 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 circumstances, the situations, you know, and the, 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 there's merit to that, but it comes to choice. And there's group number two. You do you just gonna are you gonna just survive? Um, and are you? And that's it, just surviving. Or are you gonna be like group number three, who you know who survived, but they didn't take advantage of. Um, you know whatever situation and they went fishing for opportunities because no matter what we can we can say that people that made lots of money from um, COVID or from 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 this uh, situation they made lots of money you know so it, it's all about what you're gonna do what is the choice that you're gonna make but now somebody asked me and said Gavin um, how, how, do, how do I become group number three or part of group number three? How do I survive and grow? Because that was my, you know, the crux of my message is that you need to survive and then you need to grow. Uh, somebody asked me, how do you do that? How do you, how do you survive? I, I see survival. How do you grow in the midst of a storm? And my question, my answer was, you start where you are. You start where you are. 
So let me let me let me make um, an example, or let me give you an example. I used to work for a bank. Um, I used to work for a bank. I used to work for the home loans department. And um, the home loans department, I was part of the credit um, division. So where I was, I was that guy that called you if your house was about to, to be repossessed. Uh, so I was that guy. Um, now we used to get um, what we call a repo list. So a repo list was basically all the, 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 the properties or the customers that the properties will now be repossessed. Now this list had everything that you would need as a property investor. It had uh, the, the name of the, the client, it had the outstanding bond amount, it had um, uh, the physical address, and it had the contact numbers of the customer. So you can imagine, right? It had everything that you would need as an investor. And there was a time where, I mean, banks wanted to just sell uh, that property for the outstanding amount. So you can pretty much go and negotiate with the customer and say, look, your house is going to be sold for 45,000. I'll buy it for 100,000 while the market value is 200,000. You get what I'm saying? So it, it, it was like, it was there. It, I, I used to get this list, like a huge list like this every week, every week. But what did I do with that list? Nothing, nothing. I, I even, uh, you know, got to a point where I, I told the guys, please don't give me this list because it didn't mean much to me. But it didn't mean much to me because I was not exposed to what I could do with the list. And that is why I said, you need to start wherever you are. Now I'll make another example. Um, so 2013, I got a chance to go overseas i went to germany and um it was part of a, a business exchange program that uh you know i was i was involved with at the time so i was running a cleaning business and um i was paired with this amazing guy called chris and chris ran a successful cleaning business in germany so of course you know you get there i've never uh, been on a plane before i've never even gone overseas before so I, I, obviously i also need to you know impress so Chris, um, you know, obviously the first time we meet, we're sitting down, um, we're sort of asking questions, trying to understand who I am. Um, and then he, you know, through all of everything that was going on, I tell Chris that, you know, you know, it sounds nice that I, you know, I want to explore Africa. So I'm going to, you know, branch out, uh, branch out to Namibia. And, and Chris looks at me and he's like, oh, okay. So you want to branch out to Namibia? Like, yeah. Um, and then the, the, the question was, Gavin, what is the population of Johannesburg? So Johannesburg is one of our cities in South Africa. He says, what is the population of Johannesburg? Shit, I didn't know at the time. <laughs> it was like this guy, why, why is he asking me about the population of Johannesburg? And he just asked like, what is the population of Johannesburg? And at the time, I think it was sitting at about 6.2 or 6.3 million people. That is Johannesburg, all right? It's a seat in, in South Africa. And he then asked, what is the population of Namibia? At the time, the population was sitting at around 2.3, 2.4 million. Namibia is a country, right? So Johannesburg had a much larger population as a city in South Africa than a country, you know? So imagine that. So he says to me, why do you want to go and conquer Namibia where you can conquer Johannesburg and, you know, make more money? And remember now when you, you, you want to explore you know, a different country. There, there's a lot of dynamics. It's gonna cost you time, it's gonna cost you money to set up everything. Now, Johannesburg, I know Johannesburg. I know the culture, I know the roots. I, I've, I've, I've worked in Johannesburg. I know everything there. So why do you wanna spend your energy going outside where you can be able to utilize your skills, utilize everything in Johannesburg? Now, imagine if now you conquer South Africa. Imagine that. So a lot of the times we are busy chasing things outside. Now I'm not saying that you should just limit yourself, 
But what I'm saying is that you need to be able to look at where you are currently. Are you effectively, you know, mining your territory? Have you, have you done everything in your power to milk wherever that you are? Because that's the thing. We, 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 we think making money is so difficult. But it's because we are always looking from, you know, we're always looking outside instead of where we are. You are a singer and you want to now change genres and go and sing something totally different. It's gonna, it's gonna now, you now need to understand that market. You now need to, you, you, you know, production needs to change. Like so many things needs to change from that part whereby, yes, you want to maybe mix it up, right? But maybe change the beat a little bit. So already what you're doing, just tweak it a little bit. And maybe now it puts you in a different platform. Now it gives you a whole new market. Now you're making more money. But you didn't spend a lot of money to do that. You didn't spend a lot of time to do that, right? So you just took what was working, you tweaked it a little bit, and then then all of a sudden you maximize your opportunity. And that's exactly what I was trying to point out, is that you need to work from where you are. I can tell you this, you haven't mind wherever you are properly. You haven't, you haven't mind anything. There's still so much opportunity where you currently are at the moment. You can make so much money just where you are, but you need to sit and say, how can I maximize this opportunity that I have right now? How do I maximize my talents? How do I maximize my skills? How do I maximize my time? You know, how do I milk everything, mine it to a point where there is nothing else? But I can tell you that a lot of the times we haven't done that. You know, when Gavin comes with the opportunity, you are you just want to jump, you want to leave everything. You know, and already you have worked so much there. You have built a market there. You have built a reputation there. So why don't you grow it? And then, then you can be able to expand as you go. And that's exactly what I was, I was pointing out, is that this is the time where you maximize all the opportunities. This is where you maximize your skills, you maximize your talents, right? So you start with what you have. You start where you are. Milk it until there is nothing else that will come out from them. And that's exactly what it's all about, is that you need to work where you are. And the bigger picture is that you need to survive, but you also need to grow. There is no way that, you know, you're just going to survive in this world. What's coming in the next couple of months is going to be hectic. But, you you know, for those that will grow, they're going to definitely benefit immensely. I see that 2020 for me was a good year because I sat and said, I cannot just survive. I'm going to drown eventually. So I need to survive, but I need to grow. Started to push content. I needed to do so many things. Uh, I started doing so many things because I understood that growth is, 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 is very, very important when we are facing, you know, uncertain times, when we are facing change, when we are facing so many things, we need to be able to grow, especially from a financial perspective, because I can tell you this, your expenses are becoming expensive by the minute, not by, by, by a year these days, by a minute, because things are changing so fast. Things are happening so fast. So you, you, your expenses are getting more and more expensive. So you need to be able to maximize your income opportunities. You need to make more money, basically. That's it. You need to make more money. And how do you make more money? Look where you are. Start maximizing your opportunities. And then, then start to grow at the end of the day. But that's pretty much what it is. You need to survive and grow you need to survive and grow we're no longer in that period now of such a survival inflation is gonna kill you financially you're gonna be dead you're gonna struggle so you need to survive and grow all the time now I hope that this will definitely you know assist you it will put you into a different kind of a thinking mode so that you understand that even in storms there are opportunities. Even in storms, there are opportunities. Anyway, I felt like sharing with you uh, just you know a piece of that, and I hope it will definitely assist you somehow to look at 
things differently as we navigate through a storm. As I said, uh, I'm Gavin Cavella. I'm the author of this amazing book titled Girls Financial Sermons A Nothing But The Financial Truth. So please guys, um, you know, um, subscribe, like um, when it comes to my channel so that you can be able to even get notifications of new videos. I'll be posting as much as I can. There's so much content that I want to share with you. So please make sure that you you, you follow me and um, and yeah, and be able to, to ask whatever question that you have. If you want a book, you're inside africa i'll be sharing those details just underneath there and then you can be able to get yourself a copy we are getting new stock uh this week so it's gonna be fantastic and um it will be great um just we're busy finalizing the ebook for the book uh so that you can get it wherever you are in the world but anyway thank you so much for tuning in and for even watching until the end i hope that this video definitely assists my name is gavin Mkavela. i'm signing out I see you on the flip side.